Hey guys! Okay, so I... I have a guest? Why do I have a guest if I made it private? That doesn't make sense. I don't know how that happened, but okay. So... Um... I got an Undertale texture pack. Oh, resource pack, actually. Um, courtesy of somebody who was here. Uh, it goes by the screen name Sans underscore 59. And uh, they were telling me about the Undertale pack. And it's pretty cool. I mean, it just basically changes the texture of the wood and a couple other things to make it look more Undertale-ish. And my Nether Star is a combination of colors, probably to represent the souls, but... Um, I don't... Well, yeah, actually, I think that that is the color of all the souls. So, yeah. It's just some of the colors are a little different than in-game. They're not exactly canon, but they do exist. Okay, I'm trying to turn it up so I can hear my music, too, but I don't want my speakers to interfere with the microphone, so... So I've decided that what I'm going to do is sort of like a... Um, I'm going to read these these letters, and once I get... A long enough video I'll upload it so basically I'm gonna read these letters every day and then upload them once there's enough there if that makes sense hold on a second just checking this to make sure it's not too loud but I think it is just fine so without any further ado because I know this la the last video was like an hour long, and I'd like to try to keep them at maybe a half hour so people don't get bored with my voice. It's also why I put music on in the background, because I had to use um, royalty-free music before, and I mean, it's not necessarily Undertale-ish. Oh yeah. Alright. Let's see. Oh. Sometimes it does that. I you have to click on like just the right spot. Oh, come on! Seriously? Do I have to move away from it? I know they're like, oh no, you know what? It's because I read them all, so I have to go in here. Duh. All right, so we'll start with Shara by Adrian Destroyer. Check out this music on YouTube called Undertale His Theme Remix, Shara. I may have already heard it, um, but I will check it out anyway, because you never know. I've heard lots of different remixes of lots of different songs, the majority of them being Megalovania. That's obviously everyone's favorite song. But yeah, so definitely check that out. Thank you. Um, I'm gonna de Oops. I'm gonna delete them as I go, so I don't lose track of what ones I've... Yeah. Okay. Uh-oh! What did I just delete? Oh no! I don't know whose message I just deleted. Oh, I canceled. <laughs> okay. Woo! I just had a scared moment. Okay. Book by Koala. Ko oh my god! I can't talk. <laughs> Koala bear plays. Do you have curse voice? Also, do you want to join my guild? Um, I'm actually in a guild right now, and I don't know if I can be in more than one. Um, and I don't know what you mean by curse voice. Like, do I like to swear? Yeah, probably too much. And that's why I don't, uh, I really try to edit myself when I come here. Yeah. It's just how it is, I guess. Um, but if you meant something else by that, please feel free to let me know, because I don't, I didn't actually, I guess I didn't really understand. All right, my thoughts by Hoboken Vader. I am so sorry. Again, botching names, not so good. Oh, my cat's under my desk. <laughs> uh, I like this plot, but sadly, I don't know how to install Undertale. Um, I think I, I know I answered this, but I don't know if I answered it in the video or if I answered. I think I answered it in um. In the actual chat. So if there's anyone else who's wondering, um, in order to get Undertale you have to have Steam. Um, it's at steampower.com. 
no space and er, obviously no spaces no underscores no dashes it's just steampowered.com you get steam steam is free um and actually you can go on there and you can find a lot of really cool free to play games but undertale is not one of them undertale cost me i think ten dollars it was like 9.99 i think um and if you install it once you install it then you're able to play it but obviously you have to pay for it first so if you don't have a way to pay for it that could be a little bit of a problem but if you do by all means it's fun i thought i just deleted that or did i hit the wait unless he wrote it to me twice hold on some people write more than one message oh no it's there it's gone ba uh booba babu <laughs> by maybe power kaja let's see hi bob boobub um hi <laughs> i don't know what that means hello to you too i'm not a bob boo 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 whatever you just called me i'm not that i, I don't know what that means but hey levy levi <laughs> I don't know. By Sponge E YouTube. Well, YT. Love. As in level of violence or love. Either way. Thank you. Memers, please. By oh. Uh or ah. I can't read. Oryx Taken King. I I can't. I don't think there's another way I can say that. I'm sorry. <laughs> Add the memers, please. I don't know what that means. Um, I keep seeing something about meme this character, meme that character, but I don't know what the what the whole meme thing is. The only memes I've ever seen involving Undertale were like. Um, there's one of- I did a couple of them. Most of them have to do with Sans, but there's one where he's looking up at a clock and every number is replaced with bad time. Or actually, I think it just says bad. And he just looks up and he's just like, oh my, look at the time! I'm like, oh, that's so bad. Um, so I- um, but I'm assuming this whole meme thing that people are talking about is actually not that. So, I'll look that up. Um, but if you're talking about adding them to a roll board, we don't have one. So, you don't have anything to worry about there. Cat is attacking the curtains. So if you hear a loud crash, it's because she pulled them down. It's happened before, trust me. Alright. I Okay, I hope you're alright, Raspberry. Undertale is 11 out of 10. Noise, mate. I am trash. No, you're not. You're not trash. No one is trash. Well, I mean, there are some people out there who maybe are, but you're not. So, it's okay. And thank you. <laughs> Sup? Play me is awesome. Hi again! I came back. I come here a lot, just letting you know. Thank you? I, I think that's somebody possibly looking for res. <laughs> but that's okay. I appreciate you coming back. Just... I, I hope you really enjoy this place, and I'm not making any sense. But anyway, thank you. You're the best by the Great Papyrus One. He and I, we actually get along really well. He's, um, he usually comes on as Papyrus, but sometimes he'll come on as Metaton. Uh, EX. I always have to specify. Um, I was speaking of Metaton, <laughs> the song in the background, that's awesome. Anyway, um, and uh, he's just, he's a really cool person to hang out with and talk to and stuff. Uh, my, these cats are making a bunch of noise over here. Um, my daughter and I actually met him at the same time because we went to uh, a world that he was at. And um, now the things are a little different because now he comes to mine. And so I feel like really good about that. So anyway, hello, if you read this on a video, I only have a few things to say. One, hi, YouTube. <laughs> Two, this plot is the best plot I've seen so far. Thank you. <laughs> Three, I think your kids are fun to roleplay with. 
and I'm sure that they appreciate that. Travis doesn't talk in chat because he doesn't know how to read, therefore he can't really form words yet <laughs> in his, um, in his, uh, like, uh, if he was to roleplay. So he can't really roleplay with the rest of us just yet. It'll be a little bit of time. But I read this to Brooklyn and she really appreciated that, that statement too. Um, four, never give up on your, oh, sorry, never give up your hard work, your fan, Brandon, aka the person who is writing this, the Grey Papyrus one. Uh, thank you so much. Like, when I first read this yesterday, it actually made me kind of tear up a little bit because I, that means a lot. Like, I really, I just made this for people to enjoy, and the fact that they are enjoying it, it just, it makes me feel really, really good. Like, I can't. I can't even put into words exactly how that makes me feel, so thank you. The Best by Brooke the Undying. <laughs> I am so happy. This is the best plot, and Mommy, I love you. I love you too, Brooklyn. Yes, her real name is Brooklyn. She likes to go by the name Brooke. I call her Brookie. Brookie Cookie. Brooklyn. Brooke. Whatever. That's a face, but I don't know what face it is, so I'm sorry. By Lido Lana, or Lido Lana, I don't know how you pronounce it. Apparently I say un- uh, no, uh, Alphys wrong, I say Alphys wrong, um, Shara, we, we went over this in the last video, I say it wrong. Um, I'm gonna turn the music down, I don't know if it's interfering at all, but it's always better to just have it in the background instead. I love Undertale. I also love your plot. You put a lot of effort into it. My favorite AU of Undertale is Small Tale. Anyways, good job on your plot. Uh, Lido or Lido Lana. Um, that's awesome. I don't know what Small or Small Tale is. Uh, the last time that somebody said something like that, I actually thought it was. I thought they were. Uh, I thought it was a typo. Like I thought they were spelling it wrong. I thought it was small. So. I'm gonna have to look that up too. I swear there are new new ones all the time that I don't know about. So yeah, I'm, uh, I'm I'll definitely check that out. But that's cool that you like that AU, and thank you so much about uh, the plot. Yeah, I mean it doesn't necessarily feel like I've put a lot of effort into it because yeah, I work on it, but because I do a little bit on it every day. I mean. I'll do a showcase, and then as soon as I'm done with the showcase, I do something different. So then it's different than people will see on a video and stuff. Um, I don't really feel like it's work. It's just a lot of fun to expand because I'm doing it for people that enjoy it. So to me, it's not like, it's not, it's not hard work. It's not effort. <laughs> but thank you. I'm glad you appreciate it. All the love! I love the love! And not the level of violence. No, no, no. A new message by Emerald... Uh, uh, I can't talk. Emerald X! I almost said Emerald A. What is wrong with me? <laughs> Jeez. Sorry, totally botched your name because I can't read. Hi, this is Emerald X. I know I already asked you, but why take away the roll board? You can add another name under a name, you know. By the way, I love role-playing at your house. And you're awesome. Again, I like role-playing when you're around in the house. Okay, bye, Lightning SFM. <laughs> well, hi and bye. Um, <laughs> and about the roll board, I know I could... Whoa. Jeez. I am clumsy today. Don't mind me. Um, I know I can add more names, and I did. Um, we had uh, a couple tutorials going at any given time. But... There are so many people that come on here, even having like two names, two or three names on the roll board is still unfair to anyone else who might come on, especially when it comes to Sans. Um, well, and Frisk and Shara. Those seem to be like the three most popular characters we get here. Now, granted, a lot of the Sans are AUs, so it's not, you know, a huge deal. But some of them aren't. 
and a lot of them will be you know this version of sans which looks a little different than that version of sans but they're all classic classic being undertale for those who don't know so after a while i just i didn't want to um you know push anyone away and i was telling people well regulars will be put on the roll board it's kind of like now i say regulars will become res that's how it was you know it was basically you would become res when you were put on the board but now it's different um i don't put anyone on a board because we don't have one because um i didn't th i mean there were people i was saying when should become a regular but some of these people who would be, you know, all of them would be Sans, or all of them would be Papyrus, or Toriel, or whatever, I'm just using examples. Um, they would all come on at the same time, and just as often as the other one. And now that I'm getting more and more people coming in, it's becoming more and more difficult for me to decide, you know, who's going to get what role, and I don't want to play favorites. So, that's why this place is the way it is. And I think it works. Uh, most people are really happy with it, so, I mean, I'm sorry, Emerald, if you don't like it that way. I just, it's more comfortable for everyone, in my opinion. So, I hope that answers your question. Uh, let's see, what else have we got y'all? I don't know why I said that, that was weird. A message from Frisk by Emerald X. I said it right this time. I didn't try to call you Emerald A. <laughs> what is wrong with me? <laughs> I also want to sub to your channel, but my parents don't let me sub to people. But I do like your videos, and I hope you have a good day. And remember, I'm pacifist... I'm pa oh, I can't read. I'm pacifist, brisk, or whatever. Anyways, have a good day, and have fun at your role-playing. Smiley face. Frisk. Well, thank you, Frisk. Slash Emerald... I appreciate that too. Um, one thing I've noticed too uh, about YouTube, if you want, and this is up to you, I'm not you know, pushing anything on anyone, if you aren't allowed to sub, or if you just don't have a YouTube account so you don't you know, feel like creating one just so you can sub to people, you can also bookmark someone's channel in your browser and then just go back and check it from time to time if your parents will allow you to do that. I mean, I don't, I don't know, I mean, I'm a parent and I, I allow my kids to sub to channels, but I have to constantly go through and check to make sure they haven't subbed to something they shouldn't have. So, being a parent, I completely understand why they wouldn't want their kids... Uh, something is going on in my house. It is absolutely chaotic. I hear cats bouncing off things and stuff. Sorry! There's a bunch of noise going on here. Anyway... Being a parent, I can understand the, the protectiveness of, you know, making sure that your child is safe and subscribing or not subscribing to things that, you know, they should or shouldn't. Um, most of the stuff that my kids subscribe to are like, you know, toy opening, fun with Play-Doh, um, more recently Minecraft people like, um, like the little, the little club. Oh my god, my daughter loves the little club. So, yeah, there's, um... There's that. Anyway, I uh, went off on a tangent there, but anyway, uh, you're... I... Blah, blah, blah. The YouTube block over here is not there so people feel obligated to subscribe to me. You can or can't. It doesn't matter to me. I just... I love the support I'm getting no matter what. And I'm not... I'm not on YouTube for the subs. I'm on YouTube to entertain and to be fun. And to have fun. Isn't that the point of all of this? So, and actually, you know what? I'm sitting there looking at these letters. Uh, based on the amount of letters that I have, and, the, and now I'm actually getting more and more questions, more than just like, hi, how are you, and stuff like that, um, I'm thinking this might have to be an everyday thing. Or maybe every other. So... Anyway, that was completely unrelated to what Emerald said, but I'm just putting it out there. Sans and Papyrus by Emerald X. No, oh, I don't want to delete No! I don't want to delete it. I did the wrong thing. I clicked it by accident. Yeah! <laughs> I can't do that. I sound like a moron. You will soon be captured, human. And Sans, pick up your freaking sock. Wait, 
I can't read. Pick your freaking sock up right now. Okay, Sans. <laughs> it's still there. Pick it up. Ugh, why do you do this, Sans? Papyrus, Undertale. That's awesome. <laughs> that is actually one of my favorite parts in the game. The little the sock on the floor with the sticky notes on top of it. Oh my god, the first time I ever read it, I died. I mean, you know, of laughter. Just laughing hysterically. I was like, you can't be serious, right? Sans is such a smartass. Sorry for my language, but he really is. He's just, he's so sarcastic. He reminds me so much of me. I love it. <laughs> anyway, speaking of love it, love it by ah, X Freddy Plays X. By the way, I love the Z there. I don't know if you can hear this, but my cats are bounding down the stairs. Apparently it's playtime for Ghost and Bonnie. Yes, my one of my cat's names is Bonnie, and yes, she is named after Bonnie the Bunny from FNAF. That is how it is. If I get a dog, I'm gonna name it Azrael. I know it's not a goat, sorry. But we have another we have a dog already. Her name is Brandy, but she was named before I had any sort of obsession with games or music. Anyway, moving on. Oh, wait, no, not moving on. Hold on. I had a cat that I named Ziggy after David Bowie's character Ziggy Stardust. Okay, so this isn't the first time I've named a cat after a, an obsession. Okay, now I'm moving on. Tem out of Tem roleplay slash chat. I love it. One question. Do you use the Undertale Amino? Yes, actually I do. And the FNAF and the Horror. Um, I use all three of them. Um, I'm Lightning SFM on there. Just like I am on here. Um, I downloaded them when I had my iPhone, but I didn't really use them. Actually, I didn't have the FNAF one until recently, when I got the, the Galaxy that I have now. Samsung Galaxy. Um, on the iPhone, I had Undertale and Horror, but I didn't do anything with it. Um, in fact, I don't even think I created an account, because after reading this yesterday, I went onto the app and I was like, Oh my god, I never created an account on here, so it's just been sitting there, not doing anything. So, yes, I am actually officially on there now. I've posted something to the FNAF one, but I haven't posted anything to Undertale yet. I've just been going through posts, reading theories, and stuff like that. So, yeah, I don't I don't know how Amino works, because there is a, a YouTube channel that said they were on the Amino Horror app. Go look us up and, you know, follow us. I can't find them. So, I don't know how their follow system works, but if you can find me, feel free to follow um, on any of the above mentioned, um, Undertale, FNAF, or Horror. Um, for those who don't know about Amino, they are separate apps, but they all have the same general, uh, theme about them. It's pretty much, it's pretty much like a phone version of DeviantArt, because you can do whatever you want with it, and I like it. Or, no, no, maybe not DeviantArt, like Tumblr, I guess. I don't know. There, there's a Tumblr for phones, too, so I don't know why I said that, but... Any hoozle. A story by Tribute0501. Sometimes it's hard to read the, the names now that I have this uh, resource pack. I mean, I like it and everything, but it's just sometimes it's kind of hard to read it. Anyway, let me tell you a story. When I first read this, I'm sorry. When I first read this, all I could think of was Blue Dabba Dee by a full 65. It was like, yo, listen up, here's a story. I'm like, oh my god. You're the other Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Oh my god. Okay, anyway, let me tell you a story. There was this jerk on a Sky Wars game. His name was Fishing Eggs. He called me an idiot noob when I killed him. Poor sport. Will get revenge. Backwards. Trib. Yes, I think I saw you say something like that in chat, and at the time I was in the middle of a roleplay, so I completely forgot to respond, and I'm sorry about that. There... Ugh. People... You're gonna find that anywhere you go. I mean, I've been to The Hive, I play games here at Hypixel, um, and even here in the roleplay house, um, there are people that are poor sports. Um, just, you know, they end up, quote unquote, either getting hit in the roleplay and they're like, miss. And the person's like, no, I clearly hit you. And it just, it turns into sort of a, a, a battle and not in the good way, you know, not like in the of an undertale battle it actually turns into an argument between the two of them and then i have to come and break it up but yes it happens everywhere i'm sorry that you went through that but you're gonna find that anywhere you go sorry <sighs> that 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 story was very sad Ugh. 
people. Why? Read by Twisted P. Well, all right, I will. Jeez. Okay. This plot is awesome. I was wondering if I could be Outer Tail Frisk. Thanks. Heart from Meh. <laughs> I love that. Meh. Um, yeah, you can be whoever you want to be. That's fine. Outer Tail Frisk. Um, I'm assuming that's the space one. Ugh, I'm still trying to learn. <laughs> I'm so bad. I still get swap tail. I'm sorry. No. Fell swap and swap fell mixed up. I always say it wrong. So, I mean, so like one minute I'll say swap fell papyrus. The next minute I'll say fell swap papyrus because I don't know which one's actually right. And people will correct me and I will still forget which one is right. Ah, it drives me crazy. So for any of you fell swap or swap fells out there, sorry. Anyway, thank you for saying you like the plot, and, um, yeah. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. <laughs> Thanks, by Gaming Dragon 456 Hi, I am Gaming Dragon 456 This is an awesome house. I love the Judgment Hall. If you want, you can come to my house. Someone built a giant pixel art of San's face. And thank you for building this. Thank you for enjoying it. Um, I, I can't really say, like, I mean, you're welcome, I guess, but I mean, if it's really up to you guys, you know, thank you for enjoying it. Um, and yeah, I, I can definitely, I can try to come by. I, I try to stay here as much as possible because it seems like anytime I leave or go away from the keyboard AFK, um, people start dropping like flies, you know, they just start going somewhere else, and I'm like, what? I was gone for like five minutes! So, I try not to leave too much so I can keep this place open. Says the one who has it on private right now, right? Anyway. Um, but the, the pixel art of Sans face, that actually sounds really cool, I kind of want to check that out, so... <laughs> yes. I've seen a lot of different, like, pixel art, especially on Google, if I'm searching for something and I happen to see Minecraft pixel art, oh my god, it's amazing. Some of the things that people can do. I'm jealous, because I know I would not have the patience to make some of the things that they do. Hi, by Gaming Dragon 456 Same person. Hi, I really like your house and your YouTube subscribed, and hope you do well in your channel. My housing has a pixel art of Sans face. Okay. Well, thank you for subscribing, and um, thank you for liking the house, and I, like I said, I... I would like to see the pixel art of Sans face at some point. Hey, even if you wanted to, if you do a showcase, you could do a showcase of your plot. Sorry, I'm hearing like a rumbling sound. I want to know if there was like a thunderstorm or something. Hear noises? I don't like noises. Anyway, um, <clears throat> what was I saying? Oh, it's a car. Corvette, to be specific. Nice. Had flames down the side. That's pretty cool. Anywho, uh, <laughs> um. If you, um, since you're subscribed to me and everything, if you want, you could, like, record a showcase of it. Um, and, uh, put the link in, um, the description of one of my videos. I'll check it out. Um, and I would like to check it out in, well, quote-unquote person. Minecraft person, I guess. Um, but it, like I said, it does get difficult to leave here when people just leave as soon as I do as well. So, that's that. But, um... Thank you again for subscribing and stuff like that. I... What? Uh oh. Okay. I don't know what happened. <laughs> that was weird. Sans by Minecraft Gamer. Sorry, X Minecraft Gamer 42. You know, that is the meaning of life. 42. I'm just saying. For those who don't know, bad time if you. Why? Why am I getting a bad time? I don't want a bad time. I don't want a bad Tem. <laughs> or a bad Tom. <laughs> Everybody's thing is uh, from that underpants. They're always saying, do you want to have a bad Tom? I had no idea what they were talking about until the other day when I finally watched it. They. It was hilarious. Ah, Bone Trousel. I like this song. Sans Fight by Gaming Dragon 456 No. Uh-uh, 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 uh-uh. Sans Fight. By game, Gaming Dragon 456. There we go. I am on the Sands fight in Genocide, and it's so hard. I got so close. Do you have any strategies? If so, please tell me. Um, I am horrible at strategies. <laughs> but 
The only advice I can give you for Sans's battle is just keep practicing. That's really what it boils down to. I have finally gotten to the point where it's the random attacks. You know, after he spares you, he's like, guess you like doing things the hard way, and then he just starts throwing whatever he can at you to kill you. I am dead within a minute or two after he spares me. I mean, it does not take very long at all. Um, but the opening attacks, the, what, like 15 attacks or something that he does before he spares you, um, I'm getting okay at those. Not great, but okay. Um, but it's the random attacks that, I mean, you just really have to keep practicing. It gets so frustrating. <laughs> but, I mean, I'd say it's worth it in the end, but I don't think it's worth it. I mean, I'm certainly not going to feel happy when I beat Sans. I mean, I might feel a sense of relief because it's finally over, but I'm not going to feel a sense of relief at all. Or I'm not going to, sorry, I'm not going to feel a sense of, like, happiness at all. Because, I mean, Sans is one of my favorite characters, and if I didn't kill Asriel, not like you can anyway, it's always a miss, but if you can't kill Asriel, or, sorry, if I didn't kill Asriel, why would I want to kill my other favorite character? So, that's that. So that's really the only suggestion I have. Um, the opening attacks definitely do take strategy. You have to remember which ones he's going to do. Um, and you have to be ready for just about anything and just keep practicing. Stay determined. That is my advice. You need to stay determined. And I swear if I see that pop up on my screen one more time when it comes to that game, it's like game over. Stay determined. I start raging. I don't want to stay determined. I start freaking out. Yeah, I'm, ugh, I don't know. Thanks! By Gaming Dragon 456 My gosh, you write me an awful lot! I, I think I have a biggest fan. <laughs> this house has inspired me, thanks. Well, you're welcome, and thank you for... ...being inspired, and thank you for inspiring me. I mean... That's the thing, I mean, it's not... It's not just me, per se. Um, you know, inspiring others. It, those people inspire me to do better. I mean, you know, I might, like, here's the, I'll show this texture pack since I have this recorded, but, um, <clears throat> excuse me. I'll also put a link in the description for the texture pack if you're interested in having it. But instead of the little yellow dandelions and stuff, now they're all flowies! I love it. When I first saw that, I was like, oh my god, that is the coolest thing ever. But, um, actually, the person who created this is another SFM creator. So I, I had an appreciation for that because I am an SFM creator. Well, I was an SFM creator. I haven't really done much SFM in a very long time. Wait, there's someone here? Oh. Okay. Oh, I know who the person is. Yeah, this person was AFK yesterday too and apparently still is. Well, she kept it open for me all night. That's awesome. Thank you, Emily. Emily? I think that was the person's name, Emily. I don't know why I went back. I could have just pressed tab. Emily22. Thank you, Emily22. I hope you're not frozen. I hope your computer didn't crash or something. I don't know why I said that. I'm a tech geek. If it had crashed, I think I would have known. Because <laughs> she would have been kicked off instead. So, this is Hotland, obviously. I don't know if I did any showcase with the lava. I think I did. Yeah, because there's the MTT Resort, and I think I did that shortly before I did the lava, so, yeah. But I was nice, and I made sure I put, like, fencing over the lava so people won't fall in. I mean, you can't die here, but the point is... So this is, I mean, this texture pack is absolutely amazing. I mean, just the way it makes it look, it's so smooth, but at the same time, it's so... I mean, for lack of a better term, accurate. Unfortunately, though, the only thing that doesn't look good in it is Judgment Hall. Judgment Hall looked better without it. Whoops, I'm trying to fly. Judgment Hall looked better without it, but, uh, I mean, you deal, I guess. The snow looks the same, which is cool because most of this is snow. But this is, um, like cobblestone with moss. And this is cobblestone. It's purple. I'm like, oh my god, it's like the ruins. But there is one somewhere. Um, stone slabs and uh, just like the stones that, you know, like the cutout stones that look kind of like stone bricks. 
I think that's actually what it's called, stone brick. Um, it looks like, here, let me, I'm an idiot. Um, let me just show you. Uh, yeah, stone bricks actually look like the bricks you see in the ruins. Complete with, like, the sort of jagged cuts and stuff, too, because, you know, they're, the ruins are old and stuff like that. It's just, the person that put, that made this, put a lot of time and energy into it. Now, all of this on the wall is wool. Um, and it, unfortunately, this looks better when it is wool in the texture pack I had originally. Except for these. These are glowstones, and obviously that's the sun. Um, in case you haven't noticed, I'm not very good at pixel art. These are clouds. I know that sounds silly. Some of the clouds have glowstones in them. But that's just to keep it bright in here without having to put torches all over the scenery. I don't mind if they're back here. But this is supposed to be the surface. So, I mean, you know, you don't really want torches everywhere. It sort of ruins the atmosphere. Oh. And, um, the red flowers are like black-faced flowies. <laughs> you don't want to make flowey mad because you're gonna have a bad flower. I don't know. Ugh, damn those flowers. Anyway, so that's that. I'm not, I'm not gonna keep going on with this. I just sort of wanted to show it off a little bit. So this has been the second episode, per se, of You've Got Mail, which is what I'm calling it. And yes, that just that definitely shows how old I am because I remember having dial-up AOL. Some of you people don't even know what that is, and I am ashamed. I'm old, okay? I'm old. Anyway, I used to have dial-up uh, AOL. I was young, though. I mean, I was like maybe seven to nine or something when we first got it. And, you know, you get onto AOL and you'd immediately hear, You've got mail! It was just so annoying. So, that's why I decided to call this that, because that's exactly what it is. I mean, I'm opening letters in a mailbox. So, it works. Anyway, that's it for now. So, um, I will probably, I mean, depending on how many letters I get a day, um, and depending on the length of the videos, you can probably expect these uh, either every day or every other day. Um... I'll record a video every day, but if it's too short, I'll just, you know, hold on to it and, um, you know, uh, merge it with another video later on. So, um, that being said, I hope you have a good day or night or whatever it is where you are. I will be back soon, and thank you for watching. Bye!